Hey, welcome to another edition of Inside Website Designs Podcast. Too fast for you? Okay, okay. Uh, let's take it from the top. I'm uh, Danusha, and welcome to another podcast by Inside Website Design. Wow, we have two podcasts today on the same subject, which is H264 video. It's a pretty exciting day for me today, so yeah, why not? I was going to hold this for tomorrow, but uh, I couldn't wait, so I had to get it out here, get this out there today. Anyway, um, in this tutorial, um, we're going to talk about more about uh, H264 video bugs that is all right here's what happens when you uh, when you export or when you encode your h264 video in your encoder either it's uh, Adobe's media encoder or if you're using Apple compressor or any other uh, third-party uh, video encoders and you're encoding your video in H.264 and you're outputting the files to either uh, .mov or .mp4 containers there's a slight bug on the uh, brightness of the videos or the gamma level of the videos what happens is uh, when you export a video and you play it back it looks like it's washed out the colors are washed out or it's too bright uh, if you try to compare the original source and the uh, exported version you can clearly see two different brightness levels or gamma levels let me uh, let me quickly show you uh, something I export from uh, Adobe's media encoder just gonna double click on my file so this is uh, something I this is a sample video I uh, exported out of a uh, media encoder and uh, I know what you're thinking how, how are you gonna tell the difference I mean we need another video to tell the difference between this version and another version of this video. So this is a version I already exported out of uh, Adobe Media Encoder um, and to me it looks washed out and uh, now how do you fix this? Now let's fix this first then I will save that file in a different file name so then we can compare the two and see which one looks better and which one has the you know the bug in it so uh, but so here's a fix this is gonna be a really easy quick fix so you open up your uh, you can do this in your QuickTime player just go ahead and download QuickTime player and you can do this in QuickTime uh, go ahead and let's go to say window in QuickTime I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can have a better look at it let's go to uh, window uh, show movie properties and that's gonna open up this window right here properties for export from encoder.mov which is my uh, movie file name now uh, here we have like two tracks uh, one is it's saying something some but then we have a track called the video track go ahead and click that then uh, we have these uh, little tabs you can go through each one of these if you want to but the one we're looking for today is the visual settings tab click on that and let's go down here where it says transparency and what we're gonna do we're just gonna uh, click on this drop down menu and we'll go to blend and as soon as you click bl blend and we'll let me zoom out here see the video it's like it's even worse now but don't worry about it don't worry about it let's go back to the blend and grab this slider and crank it all the way up to 100 percent 
and let's go to the blend property here click that one more time come down to uh, composition select that and let's go ahead and close this window all right I'm gonna zoom out now all right now you can go ahead and click anywhere on your video just one click done your gamma correction is done this is exactly how it looked like on the original source so let's go ahead and save this I'm just gonna do a little save as and zoom in and yeah don't don't pay too much attention to this folder say some stuff don't ask I don't even know what's inside this so I don't even know I'm just gonna go ahead and name this uh, fixed fixed gamma all right Do a save all right zoom out and let me get that file here all right I'm gonna now open up my original file which is the uh, when I say original I mean the uh, the version that I exported out of my video encoder so this is the uh, version I exported out of uh, Adobe's media encoder or in your case uh, any other video encoder uh, here's one we just uh, made the correction to and I'm just gonna leave these side by side so you can take a look at it wow there we go take take a look at it. this video is the corrected video and this is the one with the gamma bug in it and you can see it's all the colors are all washed out compared to the one right here the one next to it so this the second video is color corrected not really color corrected but the gamma shift is adjusted to the original levels so there we go that's that's the way you fix that issue a lot of people ask me about this because uh, they see the original video then they export it to you know try to put it on a website and it looks like completely washed out completely washed out so that's your solution to that on a on a technical no note on the side, uh, what happened is uh, with this bug, it's something to do with QuickTime. So it's nothing to do with your uh, particular encoder. It's it's a it's a bug in QuickTime. And uh, what happens when you uh, export video in QuickTime is QuickTime artificially adjusts the gamma levels to uh, one point eight. Uh, gamma uh, on the level that's why you are seeing the washed out colors um, instead of your you know regular you know cool colors so that's a little technical detail on that but now you know how to fix the issue if you encounter the same problem I had before there's your solution all right two podcasts today so excited I know you can't tell but I'm excited anyway uh, I'm just gonna get out of here and let you uh, work on your projects and I will see you on another podcast oh yeah don't uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, leave any comments suggestions stuff like that at insightwebsitedesign.com slash blog <laughs>